when Korean players come to the West, I actually think, particularly L LCS, one of the reasons that they degrade and are usually nowhere near the level they used to be in Korea and seem to even get dispirited, demoralized, and everything just falls apart in their game isn't just the usual things like solo queues worse, you have to speak English, communication issues, lack of culture from the other people. It's actually lack of the work ethic, the grind culture that I actually think dispirits them and really saps their sort of joy and satisfaction from playing the game. Because over in Korea, you have to understand how crazy the work ethic is there. Like, if you do a lot, that's just normal there. You're not actually the person exceeding. The absolute best person is going to the limits. Like, I remember a story in season four where Mata from Samsung White, one of the best teams in the whole world, even said he practices a lot. Like, he does all the scrim blocks, and then he would play a few hours for solo queue. But that then when he would go to bed, and he even said he himself didn't get, like, full sleep, that heart from the sister team, Samsung Blue, he would just keep and stay up and play it. Uh, more solo queue and it's like when does he even sleep if, I think he said he speculated that the guy slept four hours a night now look you can go that to Adelphia it doesn't matter one look at the results and then two if you see someone do that it's going to inspire you it's going to justify your own hard work it's going to make you think that I'm part of something here I'm part of a team there's internal competition this is who we are it's about achieving excellence so one of the problems I think is when you're in career and then you come over to LCS and you get there and it's like first week, oh, maybe he's taking a bit easy this time. Oh, maybe, maybe that guy's just, you know, whatever. When do you realize halfway into the split, this is it. This is the culture of the team and these are my teammates. And you see that your teammates don't even have to practice as much in scrims. They don't practice solo queue as much. They don't try hard in solo queue in the same way. And even worse, when you're sitting at your PC grinding solo queue at your role, you see them like playing different fun games, like a World of Warcraft type game or some silly other TFT or something. You see them playing those games for fun on their PC, not even a pro game, or just talking with their girlfriend or just generally on social media or Reddit. It, you're just going to start thinking like, what am I doing this for? Like I'm practicing all this time. I'm putting in all these hours. What's he doing? What's that going? And sometimes even worse, it actually has the opposite effect. You just start thinking, well, fuck it then. In fact, I'm free of the Korean system now. I don't have my coach bleeding down my neck. I don't have this expectation. Maybe I just start phoning it in a bit. Maybe I just mess around during the regular splits. Maybe I'm just off with a girlfriend somewhere. Maybe I just play the odd games, the ones that I'm uh, ex expected to. I keep my level good. I play. I get the bag. It's just LCS anyway. And plus, if we're in like a top three, four team and we're going to go to Worlds, who cares anyway? I'm not really trying to beat out Kerry, am I? In this scenario, I'm just trying to beat out... Who he are? That's all I'm trying to do in this situation. So to me, the thing they have over in Korea is seeing other people like that. Iron sharpens iron. I think it's like gym culture. If you've ever had a bro, a friend that you go to the gym with, the reason it's cool is because when you're with your friend, not only do you want to keep up with him, but if, he start, if he's watching you, if he's like spotting you on an exercise and you're getting to the point that normally on your own, you'd go, oh, I'm tired, I'll just stop now. You're going to want to hit that. No, come on, you get two more. Okay, I can do it. It's going to actually inspire you more. It's going to make you hold yourself accountable. It's going to make you not essentially just bitch out at some point in time. Go, yeah, well, I just feel tired to Day. You don't want to look like a loser in front of your friend, in front of someone else that's already outperforming you, who you're competing with indirectly. And you're sort of there as teammates, right? You're trying to spur each other on. Let's get in shape. I wish people in NA had that mentality in solo queue, in practice, because I can tell you, I've known some of these Koreans, and they just tell me it's depressing. Like, you just look around and you just go like, what are these people here? What even is this region? It is the little kid's table.